Brian Sell. I am the acoustic operator for the CNC for the acoustic team, and I run all the next stages. And uh, this is some of the next stages that we do. You can tell that this is just bare wood. There's nothing done with it. Uh, eventually, we're going to cut out the inside of it a little bit and let it set on the shelf for about five days. And uh, and then after that, we'll grab it and we'll put it on this here jig that we run in the CNC. That jig is going to do a stage one, which is going to cut this truss rod insert. And it's really not a truss rod, it's a carbon fiber bar that we put inside there. And we'll glue that in with epoxy. And at the same time I glue that in, I'm going to glue on a set of ears. These are the ears. And we'll glue that right onto the side. Okay, and then after that dries, we're going to take it to this stage, which is going to level the truss rod out. Or the, or the carbon fiber bar. It's also going to shape the ears a little teeny bit and put two holes here for a veneer to be located onto the headstock. Okay, and then after that's cut, then I can glue the veneer on. Of course, this is the veneer, the headstock veneer. We're going to glue that on, let that dry for, I'd say, about eight hours or so, and then we're going to stick it back in the machine and we're going to do some tuning tape holes. We're going to cut those out, and then we're going to stick it back into another fixture on that same jig, and we're going to turn it sideways, and it's going to shape the neck a little bit. It's going to shape that a little bit, and then after that, I'm going to glue on a big block of wood right here, and that's going to be the, for that tall heel for the acoustic. And then I'm going to stick it down onto the jig, and again, face down, just like that, and it's going to take a big ball mill, and it's going to carve either a standard carve or a Tony McManus carve or a Mark Simpson carve or a standard carve. And then after that I'll pull it out of the machine and I'll eye it up, make sure there's no cracks, no wormholes or nothing like that. And if it's good, I'll send it on to the other guys so that they can, they can do their thing and glue it into a body. You see, this is our truss rod channel right here. It's not a truss rod, we're gonna put a carbon fiber board inside there. And this is not one piece of carbon fiber. This is many, many pieces glued together like that, all glued together, and it's very strong, very resistant to back bow or forward bow. It's going to work very good. And all I have to do is have to shape it up a little teeny bit, because it's not going to fit in there exactly like that. So I'll have to shape it up. Not to fit in there right now, I'm just going to round the edge over. Just to right there. there you go, see it fits in there real nice and snug. I'll glue it in with some epoxy and it'll be good to go. Very strong, very strong. Works very well. And it improves the tone of the neck too. It's better than a steel rod being in the neck any day of the week. It just works really good. Sure, this is almost like a, a stage three neck almost, but on, on this back fixture, on the buried back fixture, it's going to set the neck up on an angle like this. So you can see the back end of it's low, top of it's high, and it's going to run a cutter straight across the front of this, which will give me a very level plane so I can glue a veneer on. And it's also going to do these location holes so that the, the veneer will be located in the proper spot. This is our bridge cutting uh, jig that we have on the CNC. And as you can see, I just finished cutting a little bit of bridges. These are made from Coca-Cola wood, and these are our wide bridges. They go on this jig via a little location pinhole and they help hold it on there and they locate it in the proper spot. You can see some of them turn out pretty nice. You see this one here will be trash because I got a little crack in this one right there. That's no good, but most of the time they turn out pretty good. And really nice, you know. Coca Cola is really nice looking wood. I like it, but you can see that's what they what they look like, but this is what they look like before they go in. They're just a square piece of wood. 
You got two location holes that go right there on that spot there. You fit them on just like that. I'm gonna run three of them at a time. I'm gonna cut them. Hopefully they come out real nice like that.